Hey folks, Chris here at the Crab Apple Cottage. I just wanted to make a quick video and talk a little bit about um, preppers and prepping and gardening. And if you are a prepper, why you should be gardening with perennial plants. So a lot of us are concerned about um, various issues that could affect food supply or the, the food supply chain. And so one of the ways as a prepper that you can protect yourself against that, of course, is stockpiling food, especially long-term food supplies in mire like rice and beans. But another way you can do that is by growing perennial food sources in your garden. So um, I really recommend that if you're a prepper, you start gardening now. I've been gardening, doing vegetable gardening for about four years, four, maybe five years, I guess, um, pretty seriously. Prior to that, I had done a little bit of gardening, vegetable gardening at different places that I rented, but it wasn't until I bought my house uh, a few years back that I really started doing a vegetable garden in earnest. And one of the things that I've really done is focus on perennial food plants, especially food plants that other people won't recognize. Most people will look in your garden and they'll know what a tomato looks like. Probably fewer people will look in your garden and know what a potato plant looks like. There's other things that you can grow, however, that people will um, probably not recognize at all. For example, in my front garden, my front yard, I am planting um, a variety of fruits that aren't super common. In my backyard, which is partially surrounded by a privacy fence, I'm growing my apples, pears, peaches, cherries, nectarines, um, <clears throat> plums, things like that. But in the front garden, I have Nanking cherries, which um, don't look like your typical cherry tree. I have um, cranberries and high bush cranberries. I have a Mayhall tree. I have currants. Um, I have American persimmon and hickory nuts. And I'm getting ready to plant a medlar, a jujube, and a quince tree. So those are things that maybe people might try to eat, but... For example, with a quince, you can't eat it when it's fresh off the tree because it's going to be too hard and not taste particularly great. So it's going to deter people from eating food out of my front yard. Now in my backyard, I'm growing, like I said, the typical fruit trees, um, but I'm also planted a lot of things in the backyard that are perennial food sources that other people not re might not recognize. For example, I have Jerusalem artichokes growing in my backyard. To most people, they probably just look like a perennial flower, a yellow sunflower type looking flower. Um, I'm putting in a lot of hostas this year because I've learned that hosta shoots are edible and actually taste pretty good. I'm putting in, or I have put in, a variety of um, perennial greens like Good King Henry and um, Salad Burnett and um, I can't even think of them, sorrel, a couple different types of sorrel, Solomon seal, ostrich ferns. Again, these are things that most people won't know are edible. They'll just think they're ornamental flowers or weeds, and so they probably won't eat them. So what it's doing for me is it's really giving me an alternate food source. Um, I do plant a vegetable garden, typical annual vegetable garden as well, but... Um, it's really important that you're growing those perennial food sources. There may come a time when you don't have access to seeds, especially if you don't know how to seed save. So it's pretty important that you have those food sources that will come back every year. Now, when it comes to just your annual veggies, um, you know, a lot of preppers, not a lot, but some preppers will stockpile vegetable seeds and never actually practice gardening. I'm telling you that gardening is not as easy as you think it's going to be, especially if you're depending on gardening to supply you with um, food that will keep you from going without. And so if you are a prepper and you think that you can just throw some seeds in the ground and get enough food to um, feed your family and you've never done actually done gardening you are sorely mistaken it's taken me like I said four or five years I've battled things like um, cabbage worms and squash bugs and um, different types of fungus and sometimes you have a crop that you put in and it just doesn't work out I, one year my potatoes all rotted in the ground because we had a lot of rain um, 
there's just so many things that can go wrong. And so if you are a prepper, I highly recommend that you start gardening now, that you do not wait, and that you particularly focus on perennial food sources that other people may not identify and that will come back every year and supply you with um, calories in case of some sort of a situation with our food supply. That's my little rant for the day. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you later.